got some advanced car features. Eric Glasser shows us the automated technology in action. The Tampa Hillsborough Expressway Authority shut down its reversible lanes on the Selman Expressway today to show us this demonstration. So here's our here's our forward collision warning. You see, that? connected vehicle technology, cars fitted with sensors sharing information with each other, and a network of receivers mounted around town that helps them understand um, not only where they are, but other vehicles in real time, even around corners and such. But senior project manager Steve Novosad says this isn't driverless technology. You will get the warning, but it's entirely up to you to make the decision about what you're going to do. In addition to cars being able to talk to each other, they'll also, during the pilot program, be more than 40 of these called RSUs scattered around downtown Tampa, constantly monitoring traffic flow, regulating traffic lights, even an app to let them know how many pedestrians are out there. All that information is also shared with traffic control workers who can then adjust traffic signals in real time to keep things moving, reducing congestion and pollution. If we can make traffic flow smoother where people don't have to stop and idle, obviously we're not emitting greenhouse gases. And most importantly, the technology is predicted to save lives. By some estimates, reducing unimpaired traffic crashes by 80 percent. I think about, you know, my, my seven-year-old, five-year-old grandsons and, you know, ten, ten years from now they're going to be driving. This technology will be in the car and, uh, you know, it may, it may save their life. The hardware, which can be installed in almost any vehicle, would cost around $1,000 and should be widely available in the next 10